morning, everybody, and welcome to Online Storytime with the Columbus Metropolitan Library. My name is Miss Eleanor, and some of you guys might recognize me from the Shepherd Branch. So today, we are going to be reading a really fun story about an animal that goes ribbit, ribbit. Can anybody guess what we're going to be talking about today? That's right, frogs! So our story today is called The Wide Mouthed Frog. That's right, The Wide Mouthed Frog. So parents, we're going to be encouraging our little ones to listen and look for patterns in our story today. So by associating an action with a word, we're building our vocabulary skills, and we're also helping our little ones to build a love of reading uh, by making reading an interactive experience. So to all my little ones, when you see the words wide mouth frog, can you make your mouth as wide as possible? Ah, oh, like you're at the dentist. Very good. The wide mouth frog. Alrighty, you guys ready? The wide mouth frog. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies said the wide mouth frog, shooting out his long, sticky tongue. Can you guys show me your long, sticky tongue? Go, mmm. <laughs> Very good. As he hopped along, he met a blue feathered bird. Do you guys see? What's this? What's this long thing on the bird's face? A beak, that's right. Very good. Already ready? I'm a wide mouth frog. And I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, bird? I eat wriggly worms and slugs, replied the bird, snapping his pointy, what is that? Beak, that's right. Can you snap your pointy beak? Snap, snap, snap. Very good. Next, the wide mouth frog met a furry brown, what do you see there? What kind of animal is that? A mouse, very good. I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. I eat crunchy seeds and juicy berries, replied the mouse, wiggling her whiskers. Can you guys show me your whiskers? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Can anybody point to the whiskers on our mouse? Where are those whiskers? Right there, very good. You guys are learning so many new vocabulary words lately. Grown-ups, when you have books at home, you can do the exact same thing. Uh, point out in the pictures the words that you're saying that are in the text. That's a great way to build vocabulary skills. The wide mouth frog was still catching flies when he saw a big green, what is that? An alligator, oh no! I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies, said the wide mouth frog. What do you eat, alligator? What do you think the alligator eats? Look at his teeth, they're very sharp, aren't they? Look, do you see? Look how sharp those teeth are. I eat delicious wide mouth frogs, replied the alligator, showing his sharp white teeth. Can you show me your sharp white teeth? Go, <laughs> very good. Uh-oh, do you think the wide mouth frog is going to be very happy to hear that the alligator eats wide mouth frogs? I think he's going to be a little scared. Let's find out. <gasps> the wide mouth frog stopped catching flies and gulped. Can you guys gulp? Go, gulp. <laughs> very good. Then he puckered his lips and made his mouth as smooth as possible. 
make your mouth really small. <laughs> Very good job. Ooh, you don't see many wide mouth frogs around these days, do you? He said, and he leaped into the pond with a <gasps> splash! So grown-ups, find a storybook at your own house that has lots and lots of words that you can see illustrated in the pictures of your book. So when you read that with your little one, point to the pictures that you see uh, and have them describe what they see, have them mimic what the animals or characters, oh, hello Hugo, somebody's very interested in our wide mouth frog, good boy. <laughs> So grown-ups, have your little ones mimic what they're seeing in the book. It is a great way to build vocabulary school skills. Thank you so much for joining me for online story time. We're going to sing our goodbye song now. Goodbye, Hugo. So we're going to say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, goodbye, our story time has ended. All right, can you guys do that? Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, goodbye, our story time must end. Very good job, you guys. Give yourselves a big round of applause and we will see you next week.